Hi everyone, good day to you. This video covers three stage and five stage pipelines used in ARM processor. We are going to see what is pipeline, what are the advantages and disadvantages of pipelining and three stage pipeline used in ARM 7 processor and five stage pipeline ARM 9 processor. So before going to see what is pipelining, we will see how the instructions are executed usually. For example, we take this, this instruction, add instruction, which will add the content of contents of two registers. When the processor process this instruction, it will be done in different stages. Okay, in this duration or for, for the first clock cycle, in the first clock cycle, the instruction, the opcode of the instruction is fetched from the memory and in the second clock cycle, the fetched opcode is decoded to understand what we need to do. Like the, after fetching the instruction, in this stage, what we are doing, like what the processor is doing, the processor understands what is to be done to process this instruction. Okay, the processor understands what is the meaning of this instruction. So this is happening in the second stage. And in the third stage, for example, here you see, this is this is the execution. So the instructions fetched here, it will take one clock cycle and the fetched instruction is decoded. It will take one clock cycle. And in the third clock cycle, the instruction is executed and the result will be right back into the register file. So this is what, this is how the instruction is executed in a non-pipelined architecture. Here we are not including the pipeline concept which we are going to discuss in the next slide. So now for executing the add instruction it takes three stages or three clock cycles. This is this example is taken for the simple data processing instruction. Okay so here we are explaining with the simple instruction take another instruction this RSB which is reverse subtract. Okay, so in this case also the opcode corresponding to this reverse subtract instruction is fetched from the memory and it is decoded here and then it is executed. So result will be written back into the register file after it is done. Okay, so you can see here for executing this instruction it takes three clock cycles. For executing this instruction this is the bit clear instruction again this will have fetch decode and execute phases and each stage will have, will take one clock cycle or for one clock cycle one stage will be completed okay and for completing this instruction completing the complete execution of this instruction will take three clock cycles for example again you take this one it will take three clock cycles so for executing three instructions it takes total of three clock cycles here three clock cycles here and three clock cycles here total of nine clock cycles it will take in a non-pipelined architecture. If the processors using this non-pipelined or non-pipelined architecture will take nine clock cycles to execute three instructions, three simple instructions. Okay. And now we are going to see what is pipelined architecture. Okay. What is pipelining? To speed up the execution of a program, the pipeline technique is used. In this pipelining, the Fetching, decoding and execution of instructions are done in an overlapped manner. Therefore, in pipelining, simultaneous processing of several instructions takes place. Now, we have seen this one corresponds, to, which is corresponding to the non-pipelined architecture. Total of 9 clock cycles to execute these three instructions. Okay, so this is happening in non-pipelined architecture. Now coming to pipeline architecture. What is pipeline architecture? In pipelining, the processing of instructions is overlapped. For example, you see here, this is the add the same instructions are taken and we are going to see how these instructions are going to be executed in a pipeline architecture. This add instruction, the add instruction will take three three clock cycles. This is first clock cycle, this is second one and this third one and each clock cycle. In the first clock cycle as we have seen earlier, the opcode corresponding to this add instruction is fetched from the memory 
and in the second clock cycle the decoding of the instruction is done and in third clock cycle the execution is done and the result is returned back into the register file okay now you see when see the, in the first clock cycle the fetching of the first instruction is done when the second clock cycle comes the add instruction is decoded the upcode of this bic bit clear instruction is fetched from the memory and then you see again when the add instruction is executed when it is in the third stage of a, a third stage of the processing that is execution process the next instruction rsb is fetched from the memory at the same time you can see the bit clear instruction is decoded by the processor during the third clock cycle the add instruction is executed and in fourth clock cycle will get the output will get the output from the fourth clock cycle okay now you see at any time instant see this is representing the time at any time instant you can see one instruction you can see here one instruction will be fetched one instruction will be decoded and one instruction will be executed so because of this the speed of execution is increasing compared to the non pipelining okay in pipeline architecture when you are using the pipeline what's happening the speed of execution is increasing okay now you see there are two different terms used in this pipeline concept what are those two one is called latency and another one is called throughput okay these are the two important terms which are related to the pipelining okay what is this latency latency means how much time is taken for executing one instruction consider this add instruction this is the add instruction it takes uh, it, it is undergoing the fetch stage another one is decode stage and the last one is execute stage so for executing this add instruction the processor takes three clock cycles so latency for this particular add instruction is 3 this is a three stage pipeline where we have stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 okay so the latency in three stage pipeline is three clock cycles so this is the first clock cycle second clock cycle and third clock cycle after the third clock cycle will get the output means it takes three clock cycles to execute one instruction and what is this throughput how many instructions are executed per clock cycle okay you leave this first second and third clock cycles here and after this third clock cycle for every clock cycle one instruction is completing its execution right so the throughput here is equal to one instruction per one clock cycle and this is how the instruction is executed in three stage pipelines what are the three stages fetch is first stage decoding the instruction is second stage and uh, executing the instruction is the third stage okay in pipelining you can see here when nth instruction is executed the n plus 1th instruction is fetched and thus the processing speed is increased this so in the three stage pipelining which you have seen in the previous slide at any time three different instructions may occupy each of these stages which we have seen here okay see here this is one this is one and this is one okay and when the process is executing data processing instructions the latency which you have seen now i told you what is latency uh, latency is three cycles the throughput is one instruction per cycle so there will be questions find out the correct answer correct option in one of the sessions we have seen this architecture and we have understood the functions of all these blocks available
Now we are interested in understanding how the three stage pipeline is processing the instruction. What are the various blocks related to the three stages? The first stage is fetch, second stage is decode and third stage is execute. This we have seen already and we have seen what is fetch and what is decode and what is execute. In the, the first stage which is fetching an instruction, the output of the instruction from the memory. So these are the blocks responsible for the fetching operation. Okay. So there is one address register and there is one address incrementer. Okay along with the uh, program counter this fetching operation is done you know what is the uh, use of program counter program counter shows or generates the address of the next instruction to be fetched from the memory okay by seeing the program count the address in the program counter only the processor will go to the particular address and take the opcode of the instruction from the memory and keep it in the instruction pipeline so that is the first uh, process in the three stage pipeline which is called fetch operation so in this one after the uh, instruction is fetched and kept in the instruction pipeline the address the existing address in the program counter will be incremented after that the processor will go and fetch the next instruction from the memory in the second stage which is the decode stage okay these are the blocks responsible for decoding of the instruction what is decoding of instruction? We have seen just now that during this fetch stage, the opcode of the instruction is fetched and kept in the instruction pipeline. So this is the, here we have the instruction pipeline. So the opcode has to be converted into number of steps that has to be followed to execute the instruction. The processor understands the meaning of the instruction in decode stage. If it is the add instruction, after, after seeing the opcode of the add instruction, the processor understands that, yeah, we need to take two operands from different uh, source registers and we need to add that and then the result must be stored back into the destination register. So this step-by-step -step process is understood by the processor in the decode phase. Also, the control signals are generated. These are the blocks related to the decode stage. What are the blocks? See this register bank is there. So set of registers available here. So this register bank, the instruction decoder and control logic. Now coming to execute stage. These are the blocks involved in the execute stage. What are the blocks? We have this multiplier, the barrel shifter and the ALU. Now you see the source operands are read from the register bank. See, A bus is getting the first getting the first source operand, and uh, the B bus and barrel shifter are getting the second operand. If needed, that can be the second operand may be shifted or rotated using the barrel shifter, and then it reaches the ALU. Okay, the ALU will do the required arithmetic and logical or op logical operation and then the result will be stored back into the register bank. Okay, in other words, we can say it is stored back into the uh, destination register. What are the operations done in this execute phase? Arithmetic or logical operation based on the instruction, calculating the branch address and lo load also means uh, storing back the result into the register file or into the uh, respective register, destination register. So that is the that is what is done in the execute phase. So we have seen three stages of pipeline. What are the operations done in these three stages? And also what are the blocks? Those are responsible for these three stages. After the arithmetic or logical operation is done by this uh, ARM processor in this block, in this ALU, the result is written back and that is hidden here means this will be automatically during the execution phase the result calculated by the ALU will be written back in the respective destination okay it is done automatically and it is hidden what are the operations that are involved in 
fetch decode and execution stage are presented here by seeing this you can easily understand what each uh, stage is doing okay and uh, in this architecture diagram you can see there are other there are many many blocks and the functions of some blocks are given here address register and increment so this address register and the incrementer okay the address incrementer the address register stores the address of the instruction to be fetched and this address incrementer increments this address the data register is used as a buffer which holds the data written into the memory or read from the memory and the instruction decoder we have already seen it decodes the instruction and issues the control signals accordingly the next one is the five stage pipeline the previously seen three stage pipeline is used in arm 7 processor and this five stage pipeline is used in arm 9 processor that we have seen in the introduction session itself and see this arm 9 as we already known that the arm 9 processor uses harvard architecture we know what is harvard architecture it has two memories one for data and one for program instructions right and you can notice here there are two memories one is this instruction cache this is the uh, memory used to store the instructions or programs and this is an another memory which is used to store the data okay so there are two memories separate memories are available for data and the instruction storage right and um, as you can see here there are five stages the first stage is fetch second stage is decode instruction decode this is this can also be called as instruction fetch this is instruction decode this is execute in the three stage pipeline we have seen only these three stages fetch decode and execute so apart from these three stages which are available in three stage pipeline we have buffer or data this is one stage and the last stage is write back these are the five stages in arm 9 processor as we have already seen this fetch stage is responsible for fetching the instruction from the memory and keeping keeping it in the instruction pipeline this we have seen decode stage is responsible for decoding the instruction compared to three stage pipeline where we have seen see here in uh, register bank you can see only two to read the operands we have only two buses and here you can see in five stage pipeline we have three buses which gives the which which can be used to read the content read the uh, content of the register files okay in decode stage the instruction is decoded and the register operands are read from the register file in execute stage the second operand which is entering into the alu is shifted and the alu performs the operation of arithmetic or logical operation based on the instruction and the result is generated if the instruction that is currently being executed is load or store instruction then the memory address to which the result has to be stored or from which the data has to be taken is calculated in the alu during this buffer or data stage the processor may access the data memory if needed otherwise the result of the alu operation is buffered for one cycle during this write back the result generated by executing the instruction is returned back into the register file so we have seen different stages of a five stage pipeline the review question there are options given find out the correct one Thank you.